Yo, what is going on my YouTube people? This is Gavin Asity here again with you for another video. And today I have a discussion topic for you guys in Rainbow Six Siege, which is drop shotting. Now, before I get into the topic, I want to give you guys a huge big ol' thank you for 48,000 subscribers. It is just absolutely insane to see how far we have come. And since we are hitting 50,000 subscribers very, very soon, I wanted to ask you guys what I should do. I think it would be really fun to have a little 50,000 subscriber special for you guys, and I don't really have anything in particular in mind, so if you guys have any suggestions for what I should do for a 50,000 subscriber video, please let me know that down in the comments. I was thinking maybe something like a 12 hour stream, or even like a compilation video, but just let me know down in the comments if you have any ideas. But getting into the topic of this video, which is drop shotting. It is something that I'm starting to see a little bit more in Siege, especially as I started playing some more GBs and you're playing against more higher level competitive players. I definitely start to see it a lot more and I wanted to discuss it with you guys, what the pros and cons of it, what I think of it, and also how to do it. Now this can be a bit of a controversial topic. I know a lot of people don't like when players do it in other games like Call of Duty or Battlefield, so I definitely don't expect people to be totally on board with this topic and people doing it in Siege, but I will say it is actually a viable tactic in Siege. Siege is a very strategic game and you only get one life per round, and by doing this drop shot tactic it has saved my life, so you definitely can apply it in certain situations. The reason why I think it works so well in Siege just pretty much comes down to the player animation. The best way to pull it off would be to use somebody that is either a 3 speed or even a 2 speed operator and basically when you know an enemy is around the corner you're gonna want to come around the corner and go prone at the same time and engage the enemy. More times than not your enemies will not be expecting you to be on the ground and they will be either aiming at head level or crouch level and you can get that first shot off and potentially win the gunfight. Also not to mention since the player animations in this game are a little wonky, when you're coming around the corner doing that drop shot to the enemy, it looks very strange and it's kind of hard for them to hit their target. If you pull it off right, you can come out of a gunfight with little to no damage and more than likely it'll kind of confuse your enemy and as long as you get that first shot off, you should get the kill. Now I will say you can pull this off with the slower one speed operators, but it's definitely a lot easier to do with the quicker operators. It's one of those run and gun type of tactics. So if you wanna play very aggressive, it is definitely good for that. I was just kind of messing around in casual, going for drop shot kills on every person. And I was just coming around the corner, going for that drop shot. And they just seem to not really know what to expect. Obviously, if you are playing a higher skilled player, they might not be as fooled by this, but it definitely still can throw them off. Not to mention with the hit registration issues when you're coming around the corner in that weird sprinting to prone transition, you can definitely get the kill on your enemy. And in this gameplay, you will see it does really throw off the enemy and I was able to get a lot of cheeky kills where in other situations I might have died. You can definitely drop shot in the middle of a hallway or something like that in an open area, but I would say that this tactic is best used when coming around some sort of corner and you know that the enemy is already there. You can also try drop shotting around corners just anticipating that an enemy might be there and then be ready for that engagement. So some of you are wondering how you do drop shot because in this game, there is no tactical layout on your controller. You can only go crouch or prone with the circle or B button when it comes to console. That is, of course, unless you have a scuff controller. But on the console systems, there is actually an option in the settings menu. And I did a video on this previously showing you guys where you can kind of remap the buttons on the controller, which will allow you to better drop shot in Siege. It might be possible to drop shot with either the circle or B button, but I definitely wouldn't recommend it. I think it would be a lot harder because you are taking your thumb off the aiming analog stick that will just throw off your shot and really could get you killed. But as for how to remap your controller on PlayStation, you basically go into your settings tab and then you go to the accessibility. Once you scroll down to button assignment, you click enable button assignments. And then once you go to customize button assignments, you can change your circle to your R3 button. Now this goes all across the board for your PlayStation. So in order to back out of menus and stuff like that, you're gonna have to click R3, which is a little weird, but you can always check 
check that box on and off when you're playing Siege and it's really easy and simple. I know there is a similar setting in Xbox, but I'm not quite sure where to find it since I don't play on Xbox. But with that said, that will give you the best controls in switching your layout so you can actually drop shot in Siege. Now, since this is a little bit of a related topic, a lot of you guys ask me what I play on for my sensitivity and control settings. So just to go over that really quickly, I play on five, five for the dead zone percentage on the both left and right stick. And then I play on 24 vertical sensitivity and 37 horizontal. That is just the sensitivity that I found out works for me. You guys can go and definitely mess around with your sensitivity to find out what works best for you. I try to have a little bit lower vertical sensitivity just to help manage the recoil. Anyways, but back on to drop shotting, I think it's a very cheesy tactic but it definitely works in Siege with the weird animations. I will say that it doesn't work all the time. It's not a surefire way to get a kill. So just keep that in mind. It does limit your mobility once you're on the ground. I would just recommend start sprinting right away to get yourself back up. But I just wanted to make this kind of a discussion video. It's some tactic that I started looking into and I found some success with it on Siege. And in a game like this where you have one life, any little tactic that can give you somewhat of an edge in the game and keep you alive is definitely something worth talking about or even trying. Personally, I don't do it all that often, maybe every once in a while, but... That is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please make sure you hit that like button. Let me know down in the comments if you think people should or should not drop shot, how you feel about the situation, if you think it's too cheesy and people shouldn't do it, or if it's a good viable tactic. I would definitely like to know what you guys say down below. If you are new, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. And as usual, you guys have a good one. Peace.